Word on the street. Now listen up, bro. TMZ, 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 man. They've been pushing out these pictures and videos on social media. And I'd be like, damn, bro. How the F are they even getting all this stuff? Now, there's a scene of PDD at the airport talking with the fans. Now, it was really crazy. They made a post and they said, check out the picture in the rap mogul wearing a white t shirt and blue pants as law enforcement surrounds him and the rest of his entourage. Diddy got his back to the camera and doesn't appear to have been detained. You also see the 25 years old Brendan uh, in the mix who was, you know, Diddy's alleged drug mall, right? Who was really arrested and later released the same day. Now, bro, this is really going crazy right now. You can see that, you know, the video that people thought that was an old video and we seen Diddy does the same day that he was surrounded by federal agents. Now, listen up, bro. It means that at this point, it means that at this point, bro, that Puffy is not yet arrested. And why is he not yet arrested? That's my question. Now, I will simply say that he is not yet arrested because I don't think, you know, there has been a warrant against him to be arrested. Because listen up, bro. This is still an allegation, right? All this stuff that is going on on social media about Puffy and PDD. Nobody is a criminal unless the person is found guilty. That's what the law says. Now, TMZ has been pushing a lot of videos and stuff like that. And we've been seeing what's going on, bro. They raided the house. And PDD's uh, lawyer also made a public statement stating also that, you know, he got some stuff, you know, to say about the whole situation. People said that did it with an official statement questioning if the authorities co uh, coordinated with the media. Now, because all the media outlet was there, bro. Immediately that the whole shit went online, it was all over the place. It was really crazy. It was all over the place, bro. Now, bro, look at this. He said, did his team email media statement a minute ago? Yesterday, there was a gross overuse of military level force as such warrants we executed at Mr. Combs' residence. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility as beaten by the authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. Mr. Combs was never detained but spoke to and cooperated with the authorities. Despite media speculations, neither Mr. Combs nor any of his family members have been arrested nor has the ability to travel been restricted in any way. This unprecedented ambush paired with, a, uh, paired with an advanced coordinated media presence leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. There has been, there has been no findings of criminal or civil liabilities with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and we continue to fight every single day to clear his name. Now, this is coming from his lawyer, right? His lawyer said that uh, PDD's team emailed him all this and stuff like that. Now, it is really crazy, bro. For real, this is really crazy. Now, we have seen a lot of things go on on social media. We have seen a lot of people coming out to say a lot of crazy stuff about PDD, but at the end of the day, we know that he's still innocent because if there is uh, an evidence against him, bruh, I mean, he would have been on cuffs. He would have been arrested. You see how they play? He was at the airport talking to the federal agents, bruh. He's not even on handcuffs. You get what I'm saying? So it's really crazy at the end of the day because when you think about whatever that is going on right now, you realize that the whole media outlet, it looks like it was a movie. It looks like the first was coming and they brought the whole media to come at Diddy's home, right? The, the drones was flying, the whole craziness, all the cameras and everywhere, bro. We seen everything that happened and everything leaked on social media, which is really crazy. Now, what's really going on, bro? That's my question. Now, I'm not defending Diddy in any way, bro. Anything that Puffy have done, if he's wrong, bro, he deserves everything that is coming to him, right? Because those are key by gone, die by gone. I always say that. But what I'm saying, how are they really doing it, right?
because we always have our black billionaires going down this way, right? Shame, the shame they are bringing to the men, to the family and all that stuff. Now, I'm thinking more about the kids, bro. Nobody's even talking about the family, the kids, bro. This man has children and these kids are innocent. You get what I'm saying? And they are getting all this stuff, bro. That's really crazy, bro. That's really crazy. These kids are getting all these stuff about their dad. How do they really feel? How are their mental health? I mean, is, isn't it crazy? Bruh, it's too much already. You get what I'm saying? It's, it's really too much already, bruh. At the end of the day, man, we have to think about his kids, bruh. Forget about the man, all the accusations. Yeah, if he's, if he's being found guilty, it's fine. If not, I mean, think about the kids. But remember, man, everything is for entertainment and educational purposes 